What's up, everybody? My name is Cheese Barry, and welcome back to I Get Aside for Guns of Patrons. In the last episode, it was what I feared. An episode where most of it was cutscenes. I mean, it's not that bad in the sense like you get to see more of the story, but like I say, it's. We're just sitting there. But basically, in the last episode, a lot happened. Uh, we got to Liquid Space. And he did something with the uh, nanogenes uh, to um, do all the soldiers and us. Whoa! Look at that spin. And then we saw Naomi. Naomi. Um, I also said that I said something wrong with the previous one. So when it got to that point in the. Oh, my back. Oh, I can hear he's back. <laughs> do it again. Um, uh, so I went wrong and I figured out what went wrong. Apparently, this. my computer doesn't like it when I switch the files up for the recordings so it has to be in the same files as every other, other recording which is a little bit annoying but yeah uh, but as well as Naomi appearing we um, found out she's been held, held captive by Liquid and we're in the air to find her and also um, ooh, is that hamster? there's a dude there um, what's it say? Um, we also came across Vamp from the second game, who's still alive for some reason. Uh, oh yeah, and we also found out who Campbell's lover is. It's Rose, Ryden's girl, and I was like, you asshole. I don't like when people do that. Oh, he's gone, so I'm going to steal his girl. Meryl was right in calling him a womanizing asshole. Or wasn't, no, oh no, it was a womanizing piece of shit. Something like that. Blah! Oh, well, that's also why I caused the uh, rebel rebellion or something. And also, I forgot to mention in the last episode, I said I'd show you how I figured out to change the count. It's my default once again, not reading that and noticing that I can change it. And I can even quick keep keep, uh, keep ones that uh, I find, like this one. I can go boop. Yeah, and I've got rocky look. But I can also switch it back to that. Yeah, and I think we're trying to get to now the uh, area where um. Fire! Oh, wait, I might want to re-equip. Hang on, let's re-equip the solid dive. We'll take out the. Uh... Suppressing fire! Oh, actually, I might use this because it might let me know where I've got to go. Oh. See, I caused it. I rebellion. I can't take these dudes out for one. Careful. Stay here. Grenade! Okay, hang on. What's this? The because the night vision is good to know where I've got to go. Because that's what I was doing last time. I was just filling the footprint. Back me up. Boom. Go to sleep, sunshine. No, it doesn't seem to be working this way. So I just got. To... Oh wait, no. I still want to solid eye. Still help. Oh crap! The music's changed this time around. And also, we're also in a forest there, which kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 3. It's amazing how much fun 3 is on this. Oh, I've got a new weapon, cool. It's got similar to the, uh, the original. Come on, get up there. I want to see what that is. Like, what, bitch? Where am I going now? Go to sleep. Okay. Oh, damn me, Jubilee. I was doing so well. Is he there? What's going on? I don't know why I like using that a lot. We're sneaking stuff because I can get more credits to buy more, more stuff if I want to. I can also buy ammo from that, that dude. Where is this? What's that? Oh, it's a guard. Huh? Shoot me in the, in the dick. I feel like I'm probably going the right way. I don't know yet. But this is this is this is like I think it's a deliberate day shot because I feel like I'm playing free now. Shit. 
definitely feels like a freak suit. We're not in the same forest, big boss we see. Now we're we'll going to next area. Yeah, has to have a loading screen for that. So I feel like it's good enough at one go with the Oh! Is it Campbell? Oh no, it isn't. What the? Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. That is definitely Raiden. Okay. Oh, I feel like... I know I could kill Thanks. them. And it's fun. Over there. Over there. Sleepy, sleepy time for you, dude. Oh, another new weapon. Which I might want to unlock soon. Sleep. Go to sleep. I said I could kill these dudes, but I can't be fucked. I want to. I just want to put them to sleep because it's a lot easier than trying to. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> okay. Snake. PMC sniper. Keep your eyes oh. Keep low and stay behind cover. Okay. I've got to wear the sniper. It's weird, the music's now changed for the getting caught stuff. Is that going to happen each, after each chat? Ah. Oh, crap. Jeez, so I've got to be careful with the sniper. I'd actually need them to like shoot because they might actually want help that way. How are you doing, mate? Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I should be able to do my advantage. Uh, let's see. There's got to be a way of getting in there without me. But again, I'm pretty much all these spots, so. Let's run for it. Okay, maybe it wasn't for this point yet. Oh well, fuck that shit. Ooh, cool. No, this this can't be the same. This can't be the same building. Now we're making callbacks to bloody three. Okay, seems like the same building. Oh, I hit the In the dick. Oh, well, my camouflage changed again. Come on. Oh, yeah, so I got to hold down to the couch. Okay, time to build that power station. Orders are to destroy the facility. You know what to do. Ah. Oh. Fire! I'll leave them to it then. Because where I've got to go is up that way, so. I'll leave them to that now. Guess you could say that was shocking. Go, go, go. We've got company. They already blow it up. We've got him. After him. Back me up. I think they did, okay. Moving onwards. We got him. Oh, what's that? Oh, C4. I don't know if I need to see if I need C4. If I can, if I need, I can always buy it off of, um, I'm forgetting the blank the dude's name. Yeah, it looks like I just got to go this way. Can I nick this? Can I? No. Oh, I can't drive any dark holes. I doubt if this is anything. Oh! No more. Oh, yeah, loading into another area now. Okay, quality. I don't really like this one. This might not be my favourite out of the milky. So, yeah, that's right. He's got the bricky look. Ah, oh, take a quick fab break. Why not? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the monkey again!
So we've got a bunker like smoking now. Yo, he's over here. Come on, hop in. It's getting rough out there. Austin. I don't think so. <laughs> Smoking monkey. We meet again. You've been following me. You seem like an interesting guy, so I decided to check you out. Sit down. A lot of legends about you out there in the intel community. Especially in the, uh, Especially in the CIA. You know those nanomachines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. Figures. The B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. You never heard of them? They're Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Together they're called the B and B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers. Belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female. Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Dremen to let you know. that's his name. Things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B and B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Uh, old, huh? <laughs> Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. Mm. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. <sighs> War transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is, their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Four B&Bs have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, a master of mimicry, and Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. And finally, the mistress of mind control, Screaming Mantis. Mantis? Yeah. There used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military, a Russian psychic. 
He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound unit. And they've got you in their sights. <laughs> Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Drebin. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no patriot. You can say patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formulas. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple, information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system, so not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriots' AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Hmm. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nano machines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the Haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. Hmm. Mm. Mm. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Love that monkey. Your ass back inside now. <laughs> I have you. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> bag, mate. Give me that bag. Swiss. <laughs> Smoking, drinking, monkey. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, that was uh, interesting. So the uh, patrons are an AI, I guess. No, oh, Christ. <laughs> Should I get what you collected? Now I'm good. I wish I had a car to go across this. So I don't know what that bar is. I forgot to mention it's It's not his stamina, it's his psyche. I call Rose, or Ro uh, whatever uh, Campbell called her, by well, a long name, to put that back up. I don't need to yet. If it gets any further down his psyche, I will. I thought it was his stamina bar, like, from free, but it isn't. I'm glad they took down that. That was a pain to have to always constantly worry about your stamina, especially in poor ball. Ops. Snake, can you hear me? This is Jack, isn't it? I am Raiden. Jack is no more. Where are you now? I'm right beside you. Raiden, where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. For someone. Finding what? The corpse. Of Big Boss. What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. Liquid? No. The leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matkapluku. Matkapluku? Big Mama. Hmm. We'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Wait. What about Big Boss's body? It's with her now. Her. What's going on, Snake? Rose, I just got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did... did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Um, that's great. Snake, I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together, it, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And when he did, He'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts and bruises. Roy was worried he was Jack's commanding officer, but Jack just avoided him. I was all alone, and Roy was so kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it, to move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you, Snake. Hmm. Okay, fair enough, but... But I feel like, um... Cal so, no, maybe I am judging too much, but still, it sounds like Cal will... He's still a dick. Ooh, that's nice looking. Oh, oh. Shit, for me. Come on. In the butt. Can I go in now? Oh, his psyche slowly went up after talking to Rose. Okay. Hey. Oh, there's a lot of those dudes there. Maybe I should go in the water. That could be a good shortcut. Let's do that. In the water I go. Oh, there's a music thingy. Oh, by moving on slow. Oh, cool. Oh, I gotta be careful of oxygen. Move a lot quick under the water there. Get up. <gasps> Where was that? There it is. I'm trying to. Oh. I'm not the I'm trying to. Let's go back under. This murky, disgusting, chocolatey looking water. Ah, he moves. For an old guy, he moves pretty quickly under the water. Well, that's that suit for him, I guess. Oh, oh crap, my, oh, my ouch. Up we go. There we go. A little short. At least I hope that was. In front of one third way. Yeah, it was. Call it. See you later, Adam. See you yeah, I'm trying to be still. Try and be in the word. Probably going to get spotted any second now, because that voice seems to happen. That ass. Okay, oh crap. Then. Right. Oh, there's a And 
Am I going the right way? Because I've got a map up here. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I love that this is from at least from Paul Watts. A map on here. Oh crap! What a barrel. Whoa! Bloody hell! What the hell am I doing? You son. Doom doom. Doom 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 doom. Oh, oh. It definitely does sound like the uh, from the first one, but more epic. Like, doom. Doom doom doom. Oh. Interesting to see what riding. Oh, ooh, Jesus. Good sleep. And good sleep. Anywhere closer yet, though. Um, okay, I can see where I've got to go. Should I, should I just go? Oh, yeah, I think I should just go around these dudes. Wrap this guy's up. Over there. I think I can. Over there. Oh, crap. Be crappy, shoppy, crappy. Let's slip. I wonder when we go face the first boss battle because it'll be interesting to see how the boss battles work in this one. And I'm a bricky looking person in a not so bricky looking place. Okay. Doing pretty well, sir. So. Okay, hello, sunshine. Good night, sunshine. Oh, what the. Oh, cutscene. What's with the other ops? Those giant robots are going to appear again. Snake, the rebels have got an armored dozer. They're probably going to use it to bust their way into the mansion. Give it some cover and it might get you inside the compound. Okay, that's a good idea. I didn't know. Ooh! Now we, oh, yeah, this is where uh, Naomi's supposed to be. Okay, what a bridge, happy. Oh. Be careful, I'm gonna. We got company. Oh yeah, now we. Naomi's lab is somewhere inside those mansion grounds. Proceed immediately. Infiltrate the place and find out where she is. We'll do. We'll do. Back me up. Move. Fire. I see a door there. We'll leave them to do this too. Fire. How you doing, mate? Don't mind me, a guy in the bricks. I'm gonna have to change my camera. The brick thing's pi not pissing me it's just weird. Let's go to normal. There we go. Not like I'm gonna stand out anymore. Ooh. Oh crap! Oh crap! In the shin. Oh crap. Oh, oh, shooty, shooty time. What's that? Playboy! I guess I just run for it now, should I? What happened? Piss me, bitch! I love that. Just one. Something wrong. Support you. Confirm their status. Got that. Thank you. Oh, cool! Another weapon. Yeah. Understood. Regroup and engage. Oh shit. Uh, I need to lose them, I need somewhere to hide. Oh wait, I know. Because that... I know I can use my stuff now, I just want to use a barrel instead. Let's just hide in the barrel. Because this ain't, this, ain't, this ain't obvious, is it? Oh, I've been recording for a while. I guess I'll end it here now. Oh yeah, lost them. Lucky me, so... Oh, this is... Nice, this is really, really good. I'm really like again game was out for uh, let's see, it was 2008 when this was out. It still looks pretty good. I mean, it's not fantastically, amazingly detailed compared to most games that were out last in this three years. It's still really good. I'm having a oh, naked picture there. Okay, um, I had a mini picture. Um, but I'm having fun enjoying this. Like, it's this might up being my favorite one. I don't know. I haven't played uh, Peace Walker yet or Ground Zeroes, but. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let's see you guys and gals in the next one.